So, I was just reading in um, Harper's Bazaar that King Charles III hands over Prince Harry's military role to William. The monarch made the announcement the same day the Duke of Sussex returned to London. I mean, look, I think we can give King Charles an A plus for being a spiteful and hateful father at this point. I think for the past several years, I have tried to, to remain objective about him, to remain open-minded, but each time I have done so, he just turns around and he does something more spiteful and hateful than the last time. And, you know, one has to face it. He's a spiteful, hateful father to Harry and end of discussion. And his cancer, you would have thought, you know, with all the well wishes and all that sent his way, you know, it you, you'd have thought it would have softened him a little. But in fact, I think it, it's made it worse unapologetically. So, because for him to have waited for Harry to come over to celebrate 10 years of Invictus to do something like this after scheduling his coronation on Archie's birthday last year, after scheduling a garden party on the same day and time as the Invictus service, and then with this triple whammy to hand Harry's military role to William on the same day. This is a spiteful, hateful man. This man is not worth, you know, compassion or anything. He's just a spiteful, hateful man to his son. And, you know, he, he doles this out so strategically. It's amazing. He only, he waits until Harry and Meghan have achieved something or until Harry comes for a visit to to dole out these evil little slaps you know i mean he'll be slapping harry till till he dies he doesn't care he doesn't care i don't know why harry continues to go to the uk at this point i would completely not go back and that's really what they're saying don't come back here don't come back we don't want to see you ever and harry keeps wanting to i guess i don't know i i I, i'm not a mind reader but at some point i think he will he will get the message it's like don't go back into their their country just stop you know get invictus out which is interesting because brings me to the invictus thing because um the hatred is real they they hate harry king charles hates his son And that's my opinion. That's my observation. I'm sticking to it, right? It is my view that he hates his son. And at the same time, this thing with bringing Invictus to Birmingham is so bizarre because, you know, they've boycotted the Invictus service. You schedule a garden party on the same day as the service, and you knew in advance the service was going to happen. But yet they're spending millions and millions trying to get the Invictus Games back to the UK. And we know that absolutely nothing happens in the UK without the monarch's assent, royal assent for everything in the government, everything that happens in the country, pretty much. He signs off on it as monarch, right? So there's no way they would be bringing Invictus to the UK if he was adamantly against it. I don't think so, right? So he's okay with them trying to bring the Invictus to the UK, but they don't want Harry. They just want the games. As I have said before in several videos, this is an attempt at a hostile takeover of the Invictus games. 
they don't want Harry coming with it. They certainly don't want Megan coming. And they know that if the Invictus Games are in Birmingham, Megan is not going to go. If she can't go to her service to celebrate the 10 year anniversary of the Games, how is she going to do a whole entire week in Birmingham, UK? This is an attempt to kill the Invictus Games, in my opinion, right? Which is why I have advocated for Harry to just dismantle the Invictus um, Foundation in London and start over with a new Invictus Foundation in the US, right? Um, and be done with this family and be done with the UK. What, what is he going there to do? At this point, he goes to visit. He's staying in a hotel. It's unclear if he sees anyone in the family. I doubt it. Um, it's just to say, well, I'm English. You're not going to take away my my English birth or whatever, my birthright. You know what? You can do that from anywhere in the world, Harry. You can be English anywhere in the world, okay? I don't see why you keep going back into this space. But, you know, the idea that he gave this military, what is it he did here? He hands over military role to William. I wasn't aware that Harry had any roles left to be handed over to William. It seems that they have, you know, divested Harry of just about everything, including Frogmore Cottage, including his medals, all of that. So there was something left. So it seems like they leave little things here or there just when they needed to, to, to twist the knife, you know what I mean? But I mean, you know, more power to William. I mean, William is, is so, you know, burdened with so many medals and titles at this point. I don't know how he, he walks straight. I mean, so he's going to fall flat on his face with all these medals and titles. It's so heavy. More power to him. Hopefully he'll turn up and do some work. With that, you know, I mean, Colonel in Chief of the Army Air Corps. I mean, I didn't know Harry had anything left. You know, Harry hasn't done anything as Colonel in Chief of the Army Air Corps for the past four years, to my to my knowledge, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. So, yeah, these are meaningless titles. Absolutely meaningless. I mean, more power to William. Give him another, you know, royal duty to do and let's see how well he does it and you know look harry be done with these people honestly i don't know why he he keeps going back into this experience and um but i guess another thing is that that's that proves that william and kate and charles and camilla are still in cohorts together you know as i said william is working with 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 Catherine alongside their their parents and you know what you know what it, it's birds of a feather sticks together Harry needs to just stop going to the UK and yeah cut the family just cut them it's over right that's that's how I see it what do you think <laughs>